feel like an explosion of paint just took place in this bathroom. Uh oh. But there's a method. Oh man, my hands. There's a method to my badness. <laughs> I did your order, please. In building with earth bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be part of our family and for this week's adventure. We got married! <laughs> we took the fifth wheel out on its maiden voyage for our honeymoon. Mm -hmm. The trailer traveled wonderfully, which is, you know, great because it is in the name Travel Trailer. We had a couple of these things happen here. Yeah, you can kind of see these panels are made to kind of shift when they're driven. The cube shelf handled beautifully. We actually got all this stuff nailed to the floor and stuff. Jared and his dad did that. We had some questions about these coming out. Jared just put this piece of rope across it so we didn't have any issues of anything falling out. Probably won't do the rope as the final solution but it worked as a temporary one. And then we noticed in our bathroom the toilet isn't on. So that was kind of an interesting ride. We'll be getting that secured to the floor. Overall, we're very pleased with the way it handled and we're very excited to get back to work at it. Our goal this week is to paint the ceiling as well as a couple other projects. There's like a second one. Jocelyn, when she was here, she helped us remove the fan plate, which is the first step we need to take to repaint that ceiling. Oh, how gross that is. Ooh, that's yeah. a little bit of plain. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the countertops. The countertops that are in there are an older style and we knew we wanted to change it and update it to a more, I guess, modern style. I'm going to be pulling this edge off here and putting in palette trim, staining it the red oak. And then we're going to be putting on the Rust-Oleum countertop paint on top of this. My first step is to prep the surface for the countertop paint and also to get my trim pieces cut in. So as you can see, honestly, a simple process. It needs to be prepped on the front because you are going to reshape what that's going to look yes. like. It's hard to work with curves with wood to a certain degree, depending on how you're doing it. I want to cut these flat, make it easier on myself. With wood prices the way they are, they have a more expensive side right now, it's nice to have an option with pallets to have a cheap source of wood doing the projects that we've been wanting to do. Like the different pallets can be a variety of different woods. It's fun to sand it and see what kind of grains and everything like that that pop up. It's a surprise every time. <laughs> For the next steps, stain all well, your thing a couple times. So close to the sink and so close to working wet surfaces that they need to be soaked in polyurethane as I can get them. So. What usually happens when we're doing a renovation project is you plan on only certain things being upgraded, but as you do it, you realize you really have to do all of it because the older stuff looks like an eyesore. So we decided to go ahead and do the roof. This is the fan plate. We pulled this off. I really 
thought long and hard about how I would preserve those decals on the fan. I took a picture of the high lows and everything and I plan on Posca penning them. I remembered that I have Posca pens. I really enjoy working with those and I figured it would probably be the easiest to paint it and then go over it with the Posca pens. Here we go. We'll get some semi-gloss white on here. Posca pins are acrylic paints. It's flat acrylic paint, so. So we know that this is off. We'll just call it Little Homestead font. You came up with a font name for our My Little Homestead font, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, yes. Well. Well. Vaguely derpy. Vaguely derpy. It's a uh, Little Homestead font, which is a uh, charming childish. So that's the official font name. Probably out there in the universe, but it's also here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a playful font. Kind of like Sans, but cooler. Very cool. Hi, yeah. I love these are stained. Ooh, pretty. Whoa. I'm gonna leave these exposed so I can actually glue it to the counter. All the stained parts are gonna get polyurethane. Now, do a couple coats and then sand them once and do another coat. Don't look at the background. There you go, mom. Background concealed. <laughs> really tricky when you don't have very many places to hold on. Got polyurethane. Fingers. And I call it polyurethane because polyurethane. It is a polyurethane. Let's go. Pain. Let's go this way so you don't you don't see that. We don't want you to see that. No, that's just. Oh yeah, that's better. That's better. Uh, uh, only that. Uh, uh, um, look at look at my face. <laughs> only only Jared. There you go, mom. It's perfect. Can I do a heart? <laughs> Am I that talented? Uh, it's a pretty pathetic looking heart. Well, call me crazy, but I'm gonna be cutting in with this brush, which is like a half inch, maybe an inch brush. But I have to get this molding. And I don't think that I can do it with a full size brush very accurately. Doing any paint project, usually the cutting in is always the most time consuming. However, I feel like this is an extra boost of time consuming because <laughs> the molding is obnoxious. I have a smaller one too. If this one doesn't do the trick, this is going to be brutal. But hopefully we only have to do one coat. We may have to do a couple coats over this because it's discolored. It is satisfying in that it looks much better when it's done. So I guess yes. there's that. That's what keeps you going. But gotta, boy, gotta, oh boy. <laughs> gotta look at the silver cloud. <laughs> yeah, the silver lighting. Or whatever it is, whatever yeah. that phrase is. The silver stuff. Up, you know, <laughs> we didn't go for ceiling paint because ceiling paint is flat, and I kind of like the semi gloss that's up here. I think it'll be easier to dust and clean. Ah, wish me luck. down oh yeah all right i'm so excited to see what it looks like so excited <laughs> you just roll it on is that yeah. what you're gonna do yeah the countertop paint is surprising it's a thinner paint compared to the ones we've been using like the magnetic paint i'm so used to the thick paints we've been dealing with recently like the magnetic paint and things like that that this is just like oh wow it's really thin <laughs> yeah hello little goaties hi goats you ready to try this looks pretty mixed it dries randomly, uh, that makes it slightly difficult to use. Very unique paint. Yeah, very unique. But it ended up being really great. You know, you always kind of wonder, at least I do, if a company just repackages their same old whatever to say that it's for something else. This is clearly a different, different paint. something. Different so, something. Yeah, so it's good to know. It's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. It worked wonderfully. you 
can tell the difference here on camera. This is the non-painted, this is the painted. It really looks crispy and nice. I'm going to be replacing these lights, so I'm not worried about them. I just kind of let them hang here mm -hmm. because we are still actively using them. I'm thinking that over time it yellowed a little bit, but I'll wager that it was this exact shade at one point in its life. the line where it stopped. Once I got going, got my steam engine rolling, I was not stopping for nothing. I think I also am gonna do this wall and this wall with the white. I plan on painting this wall yellow. And all this, see how it's off white? We're gonna paint this too with the epoxy paint. I started in that bathroom, I got those two walls painted, and then I turned around and I was like, what? We haven't primered the door and the cabinets yet because we're gonna do the same finish that we did in the kitchen. So I thought, I'm here, I'll just do it really fast. I feel like an explosion of paint just took place in this bathroom. Uh-oh. But there's a method, oh man, my there's a method to my badness. <laughs> this is white, this is white. Okay. They will remain white. I want to paint this right here black, but this is just primered and I'm gonna end up painting over this with the white that we have, right. but it's gonna be black underneath areas because it's gonna be distressed. And also this is gonna get painted. Right. Epoxy paint. Floor's gonna be replaced. Yep. So spritz it with black, then turn around, spritz this with the white. That's my ingenious plan. I'm also gonna spritz this. So there's gonna be a lot of spritzing that is taking place. We are well ventilated. Oh. If you are at all concerned, I'm gonna spritz this. Wow, that already makes such a huge difference. Now, for this spritz, so the goal is not to make a mess which is not my strongest suit. I feel like every time I do it, it's like this explosion <laughs> of paint. Because if you haven't noticed, I'm very good at making messes accidentally and probably have a bunch of my hair. Yes, you do. Okay, while you're in it, you know it's an explosion, like, but there's nothing stopping. <laughs> and you just hope that the majority of the paint gets on the object that needs it and not you. Although- In this case, not so much. I think I got most of it on what I was working on, but I didn't realize how much I had in my hair. Done. Done. First try. Now for my next trick. They say no prep, no primers for this epoxy. When I did my research on the back of it, I know almost five minutes I spent researching. I am now an expert. I, I uh, graduate myself. It said to shake well, so I'm putting my back into it. There's a slight flaw in my genius plan. Flaw. That's there. Oh, perfect. Now it's a perfect plan again. Coming in clutch with the genius adjustments. It's time to finish up the final trim for the counter, putting up a backsplash. It involves a lot of little cuts. I got to break out the router my dad gave me, so that was an enjoyable experience. It's tedious, but I kind of get in that work zone and it's just, it ends up being a really fun process to figure out each individual piece and figure out what needs to happen with that piece. I'm having a lot of fun with it. You look like you were having fun out there doing it and it seems like very rewarding work when it's done. Like, mm -hmm. wow. I can't wait to see how the red oak on the trim and the countertops all tie everything together. Mm -hmm. We 
are super pleased with everything that we got done this week yes. between the countertop, the trim mm. pieces, and the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Definitely goals that we wanted to meet. And the surprising ones was the epoxy on the toilet, which I think it's gonna need a few more coats, so we'll keep you updated on how that's gonna mm. go. For the most part, I'd say it's got the foundation there to get the, that epoxy paint on the toilet and the shower. That part is kind of headed into as well as the primer, which was kind of an unexpected thing to finish as well. So mm -hmm. super exciting little bonus rounds that yes. we got. I think that your kitchen looks really rustic and inviting. Mm. You did a great job on a trim and the countertop looks superb. <laughs> Thank you, darling. wraps up this week. The t-shirt design of the week is a pocket gopher. This is a joke from our recent podcast. If you missed it, the link will be down in the description. You can get this as a design on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, or many of our numerous products that we offer in our shop, as well as previous designs that we've done in past weeks. There's a bunch of stuff over there for you. We have a sale going on now through Monday, 15% off of everything. That's Monday, August 9th. So if you'd like to take advantage of that sale, it's going on right now. If you missed last Wednesday's video, Shay and Skylar cleaned up their yard a fun, creative video if you have missed it. The link to that video will also be down in the description. Stay tuned for next Wednesday. Garen and Ellie have got more that they're doing over there. Lots of fun shenanigans gains and building that they're doing. Phenomenal stuff. It's definitely a weekly peak you won't want to miss. We really appreciate you commenting, liking, and subscribing. It really helps us out over here. It helps get the word out, so we really appreciate that. Thank you for being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for that podcast. Bye! Thank you! This is the most dangerous of spritzes. Let's get our pants pulled up so we don't My look sloppy. Thank you very much. Oh, hi. Entre you, you're going to anyway at some point. It might as well oh, be in a please. controlled environment. I'm watching you. Okay. Bye. Later. Bye. Hi, <laughs> okay. kid. Except, are you gonna do the now breathing thing heavily? Super exciting little bonus rounds that yes. we got. Yes. <laughs> He thinks so too, apparently. Yeah. Are you at all disturbed yet? Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. An endless hole. Hey, hey, hey! Very nice. Look at you, you're so kiss them out. We have this here because we broke these. I'm not sure what we're gonna do on that. Uh, There's effort, my baby yeah. Jimin. I love him. I love you. He's my baby. My baby. I married him. Yeah, you did. Yeah.